Welcome to Winston-Salem and another stop along Tobacco Road, which is home to the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. And the fans have been ready to get things started since early in the day. Little gets the blood boiling, quite like a rivalry game. Barbs, shots, trash talk, things that go on throughout the week will now all be settled on this field. As we'll see the number eight team in the country, the NC State Wolfpack, taking on the winners of three straight, the Wake Forest Demon Deacons. Glad to have you with us for EA Sports College. Looking for those open spaces and opportunity. And the returner will be dragged down. So NC State's offense will have plenty of work to do after that return was bottled up. There are always butterflies to start a game, but when you have a rivalry like this, the adrenaline is pumping on overdrive, guys. They aren't all the same. We say that, but we know differently. The blood is boiling. The temperature is hot. Jesse, you want this week more than most. Yeah, and David, we played in these games before. Everything just seems to be heightened, right? The game seems to be moving faster. The crowd noise feels louder. Your composure will be tested early in a game like this. Not a lot of room there. Give him a couple to the 16. So already a challenge on this opening drive. It's third and nine. Trying to get to it. Going to try to get it himself. And he couldn't find quite enough running room to reach the line to gain. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. A quick three and out, and they're already giving up the ball. And he'll work his way on the return out to the 35-yard line before he stopped. So Wake Forest offense will go to work for the first time today. And David, we'll see just how effective they can be on the ground running against a backer like this. But they're going to do what they do, and they're going to feature their guy. He's an elite running back. You're a great linebacker. Let's see who wins this battle. There have been entire defenses that haven't been able to slow this running back down. This linebacker, though, he's got the athleticism to do it himself. Quarterback changing the plays at the line. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. They have it at the 43, third and short, trying to avoid making a decision on fourth down. They'll try to run for it. Tackle is made, but not until he gets the first down. And the Demon Deacons come to the line with a new set of downs. Now they're going to throw it. He's got the tight end. They make the stop, trying to pick up just a little bit at a time to get to that first down mark. Now the play fake. Grabbed in the middle. It's green. They'll get him stopped at the 34. He's got 10 yards on that one and a first down. They go to the ground. And he's able to find a little bit of running room before they get him down. Eight-yard pickup on first down leaves him with second and short. He's looking to throw. And the quarterback goes down. There is a penalty flag on the field, but I think the defense might have the option just to take this play. They'll decline the penalty here and let the result of that play stand. Here comes a third down situation, and the defense hasn't been able to slow them down. Fires to the wideout. Makes a connection. And he was loose and in the open field and on his way. A tremendous pickup on that one. Hand off from the gun. He'll be brought down at the five-yard line, and this defense is on its heels. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Red pass, it's complete. And he'll take it in and house it. Touchdown, Wake Forest. That drive was what every father wants his daughter's romances to be like. Slow, take your time, train the clock, no hurry at all. Sometimes love is a slow burn. 
and that's what we just saw on that last drive. I am so impressed with the execution, and I love their ability to run the football. These players, they're coached up. They're coming out here, and they're executing exactly how their coaches prepared them to do in this game. And the extra point is good, and it's 7-0. Lining up to cover the kick after that touchdown drive. And he takes this from inside the five. Really disciplined job by the coverage unit to get down there and make the stop at the 19. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. They're looking for an advantage in the running game to the right. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Didn't get much done on that first play of the drive. It's second and 11. Running back searching for a hole. Didn't find a lot of room. Let's give him two out to the 20. They line up with some serious work to do if they want to convert this one. Thomas looking to fire. Going to try to pop one on the screen. Not a whole lot of room there on that screen pass as it just never developed. NC State to bring the punt team onto the field. That first punt was a beauty. They'd take another one just like it. On the return, it's Mays. Working his way on the return up to the 40-yard line before he stopped. First down for this offense. Here's the handoff. And he'll pick up the first down after a tough run there. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. They're going to ride this running back. At the 35, he's open. And it is a chunk play, a huge gain on that one before the defense brings it to an end. Defense is going to have their hands full trying to stop this guy. They better rally to the football and get multiple hats because he is not easy to bring down. The Demon Deacons headed quickly to the line. From the gun, running back on the move. Able to pick up a couple before he's knocked down. They mark it at the 10. They're going to work on second down in the red zone. is still some ground to cover to pick up that first down. Caught in the backfield and screen. That completion has them right on the doorstep. They'll mark it at the 1. And the Demon Deacons trying to pay off the threat on first and goal. Slams ahead. And he takes it in for the score. Touchdown, Demon Deacons. Precision blocking up front. Created the open lane, and the running back followed it beautifully. Yeah, uh, it's pretty easy to follow an offensive line that makes those holes and just gives you a caravan all the way to the end zone. What an unbelievable job blocking up front. They'll try to add another to their lead. And the extra point pushes the lead to 14. A very efficient five-play scoring drive. And they capped it off with a one-yard plunge. The returner will field it and try to do some business. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. The last time we saw this offense, we had to look quick. It was a three and out, Jesse. They just had no rhythm in that last drive. So someone's going to have to step up and make a play, David, and get this thing going. Yeah, let's find some juice. Find your guy. Find those plays that you know you can run inside out, forward, backwards. Get some first downs. Get some positive momentum. Gets it out to the 20 after he pick up a four. Now facing a third and long. It's a draw. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. The Wolfpack will line up to punt it away. He gets a block. That nifty return sets up the offense and negates some of the yardage on the punt. Looking for a productive play on first down. He wants to throw. Safe completion on the screen. 
They finally get him stopped, but what a good job by that front wall to set up the screen and create some lanes for their running back. We've reached the end of the quarter, and Wake Forest has the lead. They largely dominated this first quarter, as indicated by the stats. Just about ready to get things started here in the second. We'll see if they continue to flex that muscle. Wide out in motion. Quick touch pass to the receiver. And a decent gain there before the defense makes the stop. Well, and on these little push passes, timing is so important. You're trying to snap it right as he's getting a full head of steam. When he gets the ball, he's hitting the outside, David. It puts the defense in such a difficult spot. You immediately have to be rotating when you see that motion. So everybody's got to communicate and kind of bump over. That's why offenses love to run it. Just it makes the defense communicate and see if you can just get him out of a spot. Takes the handoff. It's Claiborne. And they'll bring him down, but not before he picks up the first down. The Demon Deacons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They'll ride the hot hand. Not just hard-nosed running, that's cement-nosed running as he gets it to the 25. Halfway there on first down, it's second and five. He'll take a shot. And they wanted it all on that incomplete pass. Instead, they're looking at third down. We'll see if they go back to the air after the incompletion. It's third and five. It'll be a draw. Runs through a tackle. Smashes through. Touchdown, Wake Forest! He shed tackles like a snake getting rid of his skin. The mantra is always finished. They're trying to do that here in the regular season with this Week 12 performance. And step number one, when you want a great running back, someone who runs angry and continues to break tackle after tackle, this guy was unbelievable on that rush. I don't know, David, if this defense was ready for this guy. they got to do a better job as the game goes on, getting more hats to the football, because it's obvious now it's not going to be just one guy who brings him down. They've got to get extra hats to the football to stop this rushing attack. We check in with Kevin Connors. What's going on, Kevin? Boys, if it's happening in college football, we've got eyes on it. Check this out. Temple is ahead right now in South Philly, but this game is a long way from being over. Better hold off on the run to Geno's for the time being. They're up by seven over UTSA. Just another week of college football where we've come to expect the unexpected. Fellas? Thanks for the update on that one. Kevin, let us know when it goes final. NC State going up tempo. Sometimes people say, if you're good enough, what's the big deal about going on the road? Well, if you're not careful, you might find out in a spot like this one, guys. Yeah, no doubt about it. This is a hostile environment, and you know you're going to be getting the opponent's A game for this one. They've circled this one all offseason, so they better be ready to bring it today, David. And the hardest thing to do in college football is to go on the road. Everything about it changes. If you want to shut this crowd up early, you don't want to give them belief, because if it starts to build throughout the game, look out. They have had to wear that beat down since the last time these two met, Jesse. And they've been talking about it for a long time. They were absolutely embarrassed. The players, the coaches, the fans. You know, David, coming into this game this time, they want to put out a much better performance. Oh, there's nothing worse. The coaches are riding you all week leading up into this game, reminding you, showing the clips in the locker room. You know you failed. You want to come out and get a great start in this football game. It's a draw. And they try the middle of this stout defense, and they rise to the challenge. They line up, and it is a long way to the sticks from here. On third and long, try to convert through the air. And this sophomore able to wreak some havoc and get the sack. On third and long, you know what's coming. That's exactly where you want to get an offense. The passing game has to come out. You go nickel, bring some more speed on the field, and the defensive line gets home and gets the sack to force the fourth down. Looks as if NC State will have to punt it away. Fourth time tonight we've seen this guy come on to punt. 
And he tried to pin him deep with that punt. Instead, it goes into the end zone. It'll come out to the 20. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. This offense has really been clicking in the game so far, Jesse. No doubt. Everything their play caller is dialing up, these guys offensively have been able to go out and execute. Yeah, and it's just maintaining the lead. Keep doing what you've been doing. You got a big lead. Let's just keep piling it on until they find an answer. And he's brought to the ground, but not before he gets enough for the first down. Touch pass on the jet sweep. He breaks a tackle. And he'll step out of bounds after a very productive play. Offense lines up for a first and ten from the 43. To the ground with the back. And you want to talk about gang tackling. Everybody on the defense run to the ball. Didn't get much on first down. It's second and nine. They'll go to the ground. He will step out of bounds, but not before the big pickup and a first down for this offense. Quick release by the QB. They stop him almost immediately. Short gain there, and still a little ground cover to pick up the first. Second down. They'll run it behind the big guys on the left. Using that running game to bludge and forward. He's got four down to the 35. Play number seven on this drive, and it'll be third and two. He'll try to pick it up on the ground. Now well within striking distance as that third down play gets him a first at the 29. And the Demon Deacons come to the line with a new set of downs. Wide receiver coming across in motion. From the gun, the running back has it. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Hit a little speed bump on this drive. It's second and 12. They'll switch it up here and look to throw. Pulls it in. It's Claiborne. And he'll run across the sidelines after the good game. They've moved it to the 25, but now facing a third and long. From the gun, wants to pass. And they can't make the connection on third down. And now on fourth down, they'll try a field goal. This is not a straight-on kick, a 42-yarder from the right hash. And it's right down the boulevard. And now the lead is even bigger. kickoff team doing a little running and it'll be a touchback the ball will come out to the 25 yard line North Carolina State has it back in the offense headed to the field they face a pretty tall mountain here Jesse down 24 but if they're going to climb it this is a good time to start sense of urgency has got to be big right here you just get the feeling at this point of the game David they've got to score on this drive obviously their defense needs to get stops but at this point offensively They've got to execute much better. they, they got to be super aggressive. Down 24, you're going to need three touchdowns, three two-point conversions, everything to kind of go your way. So fast and throw in the football. He'll do it himself. A solid pickup there before the defense is able to make the stop. We've reached the two-minute warning, and this thing has been one-sided, and they hope to at least have something to feel good about going into halftime. Tremendous awareness along the sideline and the ability to get the foot down for the big pickup. Trying to find his man on first down. And this will be incomplete. A big hit there for his second down. Couldn't make the connection last time. Let's see if they throw it again. Thomas back to pass. Finds his tight end. And they'll shove him out of bounds after the short game. Third down conversions are a huge stat, and this one would be a doozy if they can pull it off. Outside the pocket, lets it go. It's caught downfield. He's run out of bounds, but not before. Turning in a big pickup and moving the sticks for a first down. Trying to cap this drive with the pass. Makes the grab. It smothers. Makes the catch and knockdown. 
Now here on second down, see if they keep tossing it around. He's looking to throw. Unloads to the wideout. Got it! And he unleashed the RPMs on that pass. Man, this sophomore has an arm. He wants to throw it. It's complete! Into the end zone! Touchdown, NC State! Man, nice job getting the passing game going. This, this is big, man. Going to the half, and listen, I know you're trailing, but building some momentum. Maybe this second half we can keep airing the football out, cutting into this deficit, and who knows what the heck will happen. On to attempt the try. And after the extra point, they're now down 24 to 7. 76 yards on the drive for the touchdown. And they cap the drive with a four yard touchdown pass. Here he comes from inside his own five. Nice job executing all of the assignments as they put a stop to that return at the 22. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. Looking to go up top on first down. That's caught. It's green. And he goes out of bounds after coming up with positive yardage there. And, guys, this is a great time to look for an explosive play on second and short. Three wideouts to the left. Makes the grab. And he breaks into the open. Touchdown, Wake! Reeled it in and just made the house call. And this offense is clicking. Another touchdown. Didn't have to go far for this drive, but this offense is doing what they want, how they want, when they want. He'll try to tack on one more. And with the extra point, they push the lead out a little further. This offense prides itself on going after you, and they did with that long touchdown pass to finish off a two-play drive. And no chance at a return. Here they'll start this drive at their own 25. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Wants to throw on first down. Moving out of the pocket. The freshman able to get home with the sack. We haven't even gotten to halftime yet. This offense has their hands full trying to keep this quarterback standing up straight. They've already given up multiple sacks. That's the biggest reason why they're trailing by as much as they are. They better go in at halftime and make some big-time adjustments. Clock still running. Almost certainly the last play of the half. Power football with the run. And after that short game, they'll head to the locker room for halftime. That's the end of the second quarter. That means it's time to join Kevin in our halftime update. Thanks so much, guys. And I need not tell you, rivalry games always bring out a ton of emotion. And no surprise, we saw just that in the first half today. And we've got to start our halftime breakdown with this superstar running back. His elusiveness, his raw power. This young man is the total package. And his ability to catch the ball out of the backfield is a differentiator. A lot of guys can hit the hole. This kid can hit the hole and hit the home run in the passing game. With that, let's throw it back to the guys to see how this rivalry matchup plays out. North Carolina State will kick it off to open the third quarter. He'll bring it out. It's Lee. He was looking for some running room, but not much to be found as he stopped at the 18. The Wake Forest offense returns to the field. Trying to set the tone with the run. And maybe he'll get back to the line of scrimmage, but no more than that. Got stuffed on first down. It's second and ten. Off play action. Right down the middle. And that pass will be jarred loose on second down. That brings up third down. 
If they can convert here, that type of play can really give you a shot of momentum. And they can't make the play on third down. The Demon Deacons will send out the punt unit. Getting our first look of the afternoon at the punter. Sends his first one of the day on its way, and that matches the number of appearances he had in that win last week. Looking for running room, he'll get it to the 43-yard line before he stops. So the first play of the drive will come from the 43. Caught in the backfield, it's Rodgers. I love offenses and quarterbacks that are willing to take the easy stuff. Take those easy throws that are guaranteed to get positive yards. Yeah, I'm going to take big shots down the field, too. But don't forget, it's easier to pick up second and five, third and five, than it is when we start getting those long yard situations. They're about to wear this puncher out. He's already been out four times, staring at a fifth if they can't move the chains. The Wolfpack will have to bring the punt team onto the field. They may have to pay him overtime. He's punting for the fifth time today. No return possible on this when it goes out of bounds, and they'll mark it right around the 30-yard line. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their running game. It's the MO of this offense, and they really put a lot on the offensive line to go out and really try and establish their dominance and their assertiveness, and they've done a good job of that early in this game, running the football. He got his hands on it, but couldn't hold on to it. What a time that would have been for their first pick of the game. Shotgun snap, wants to throw it on third. Catch in the middle, it's Fields. Such a big part to convert these third downs, and they've got it at the 42. From the gun, give on the inside. That's a really good job by the defense, wrapping them up, getting them on the ground. Take away that run game, make them one dimensional, put them in passing situations. Really good job by the defense. Quick pass on the fly motion. Inside the 45. And how much running room have they been able to find just all day? They are piling up unbelievable rushing stats. And the Demon Deacons are on the move. Off play action on first down. Quick strike complete. Really nice job there by both guys. The throw and the catch to work that defense and get the first down. From the red zone, he's going to throw it. And that incomplete pass caused by the big hit on first down. Second down coming. Operating in the red zone here on second down. Try to get the edge with a quick touch pass. And the freshman does a great job using his technique and getting the man on the ground. Really need to pick up this conversion and avoid having to settle for the field goal. On third down, going up top. It's incomplete. He was shooting for the end zone right there. They'll try to get something out of this drive and kick the field goal here on fourth down. Absolutely good. And they'll push that lead out a little further. Pushing that lead out, and the kickoff team's getting some work. On the move from inside is five. And the returner goes down. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. Boy, three and out last time, David. They'd like to be more productive this time around. Yeah, in the last drive, nothing really clicked. No rhythm. Got off the field really, really quickly. They need to put something together here. Yeah, David, bad execution on that last drive. So they got to take a collective breath and start playing like a unit on this drive. Now they've got even more breathing room out to the 31 and a fresh set of downs. Let's see if they can put the defense on its heels in first and ten. Hand off from the shotgun. Found a little space, and he's got four to the 35. Solid pickup of four on first down at second and six. They've got him looking run. Now they're going to throw it. He'll try to do it himself. 
Good little pickup there as he saw some daylight and got what he could. They've got it at the 41, third and short, trying to keep the chains moving. They'll try to power their way ahead. Coming through with that third down conversion, and they'll mark it at the 43. NC State at the line with the first and 10. Out of the shotgun, they go to the ground. We'll give him a couple on that one. Second and eight coming up. And here comes play number six of the drive. The give out of the gun. And he'll find enough running room to get it just short of midfield at the 49. This has the makings of a good drive. The seventh play brings up a third and four. Looking down the middle. Complete to the right. A quick tackle made, but he's got plenty for the first down. And now a fresh set of downs for this offense. From the gun, they'll try to impose their will. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. After losing yardage, it's second and 12. Thomas looking to fire. Makes a grab over the middle. And how does he keep running? I'd be dizzy after a spin move like that. Wow, the quarterback knew he had to get that one to his receiver quickly on the in route. Did you see the velocity on that throw? From the 17-yard line, it's first and 10. Moving the running back, trying to get the D to tip its hand. Grabbed in the backfield, it smothers. And the defense able to drag him down, but not before. They'll recycle that down marker. First and goal now as NC State tries to find a way to score. They'll try to get it in with the run. And he runs through one tackle and picks up a few. Picked up six on that last one, now second and inches. Trying to punch it in. And maybe they want to try somewhere else because there is nothing doing in the middle of this defense. On the play. Brings up third and goal. We've reached the end of the quarter and Wake Forest has the lead. Let's take a quick look at the national rankings to see how this playoff race is shaping up. quarter to go and it looks as if we are ready to play this defense has been able to force a couple of third downs but they haven't been able to get the stop can they do it this and he takes it to the house touchdown wolf pack yeah and listen that, that is awesome to see the guys continue to fight continue to keep competing because this game is over like we don't need to fool y'all. We're not trying to get y'all to stick around and, and, and improve ratings. Like, the game's over, but you're continuing to fight. You powered in for the touchdown. And show your kids that we're going to always fight no matter what the score is. Ready to try the point the after. Is on for the extra point. Splits those uprights right in half. And for a quick update, let's go to Kevin Connors in the studio. All right, guys, a little update on what else is happening in college football this weekend. The home team has the lead right now, but this crowd is restless. They just haven't been able to separate themselves yet today. The Hogs have been hanging in there, but they're going to need something to break their way and soon. They're up by four over Arkansas. We've got our eye on this one and everything else going on throughout the day. Guys. Oh, and how about that? I know Kevin and those guys will be keeping an eye on it for us. Quarterback, quick pass to the receiver. He's run out of bounds, but a big play on that one, and it'll be a first down. Here's this offense with a fresh set of downs. Wide receiver shows motion. From the gun, they'll try the middle. He's knocked down in the backfield. He'll lose a couple. Bunch formation trying to spring a guy free. Right back to it. Creating some space, getting just enough good blocking, and they've got it up to the 47-yard line. Now on third down after that run. From the gun, wants to pass. The short hands, it's Alexander. 
Nice job to pick up the first down, and they'll spot it at the 42. They'll run it from the gun. They bring him down, and he's going to lose a yard on that one. Lost one on that last one. It's second and 11. Out of the gun, the inside give. Able to pick his way forward for a decent game before the defense gets him down. A third and long coming up here. Just feeds the running back. He's got enough for the first down. They'll spot him at the 24-yard line. The Demon Deacons come to the line with a fresh set of downs. They're trying to slow that rush down with the draw. It's a point in the game, I think, as a coaching staff, where you really challenge your offensive line to go win the football game, right? We've got a lead late. We're going to run the football. And the defense and everybody in the stadium knows that's what's going to happen. Can we run the ball down their throats and impose our will? That's what this offense right now is trying to do. Fast motion from the offense. Quarterback touch pass on the jet sweep. Tough sliding in there. Picks up a couple, but still needs two more on fourth down. And here comes the field goal unit. This kicker has already made a couple today. Smashes it between the uprights. And that will extend their lead even further. Starting to extend that lead as they get ready to kick it away again. He'll start the return inside his five. And they'll haul down the returner to start us on the next drive. NC State sending the offense back onto the field. Thomas back to pass. Heaves it on the run. And it goes through his hands. Oh, he had an explosive play right there for the taking, but couldn't reel it in. Couldn't connect on first down. Now back to the air. Finds the tight end. And that had all the makings of bug meat windshield. But how about the little corner taking on the big tight end and keeping him from getting the first? Fires to the middle. Got his man downfield. And the tackle is made, but not before that completion gets him 30-plus. You know, as the head coach of this team, this is one positive you're going to take away from this game, is that your players don't quit, and they're still willing to fight. There's obviously a lot of things they've got to iron out offensively, and we've seen that today. But I do. And the freshman will chalk up a sack. This offense tried to go right back to the well or right back to the air, and the defense was ready this time. And a great response from the defense. You give up a big play, a huge chunk play that you didn't want to give up. Don't hang your head. Now play the next play. Played it aggressively, went and got the sack. Way to respond. Now the offense has to overcome the negative play after the defense comes up with a sack. Fires to the middle. He's got it. Several defenders get an assist on that tackle. A completion, but not quite enough for the first down. Third down coming for this offense. Using the quick game. Putting together a real scoring threat here as they pick up the first down at the 36. Looking to move it through the air. Extending the play. He's going to take off. A really nice run and gain, and he gets down to avoid taking punishment. From the 22 on first and 10. They'll run it from the gun. They make the stop, but you can't give up four yards a chunk on the ground down in this area of the field. It's at the 18. Thomas looking to fire. Getting some heat. Moving away from pressure. Short gain on the play before he slides. They'd love to pick up this third down and get a fresh set with first and goal. Wants to throw on third down. He's got it on the run. They get him stopped at the five-yard line, but it will be first and goal from there. So, so close to cashing it in for this offense. Looking to throw. Makes the grab, and he will score! 
Touchdown, Wolfpack! Let's see if they can roll snake eyes in a good way and get the deuce. They're trying to slam it in. Into the end zone for the two-point conversion, and now they trail by just 15. They are running out of time here. They need to get the ball back. They'll line up for the onside kick. They'd hope to get that thing bouncing around, but the hands team is able to corral it. Wake Forest has it back, and here comes the Deacon offense. That last drive was a long one, Jesse. They'd like this time to pay it off with a touchdown instead of a field goal. No doubt, Reese. They had a lot of good stuff going that last drive. Need to get a tutty up on the board here to extend that lead. Bro. And I think you definitely want a touchdown, but if you put another long drive together, get points, multiple possessions in a row, start to let those body blows add up and wear this defense out. Quick pass on the jet motion. That's what you expect from a senior. Don't give them any extra yards. Great tackle there. The handoff. Keep working on that clock. He's dropped behind the line of scrimmage. That'll be a loss of three. Defense uses a timeout quickly, trying to get that ball back and preserve time for their offense. From 56 yards out, what a power leg. Never a doubt about that one. How nice is it as a head coach to have a kicker like this? It makes these decisions on fourth down so much easier. Just strut him out there and let him stroke it through the uprights. That lead just keeps getting fatter in this kickoff team doing a little running. Fielded in the end zone, it's Shabera. Didn't find any crease in that kickoff coverage, and he'll be stopped at the 17. North Carolina State has it back in the offense, headed to the field. This offense has pretty much been stuck in the mud the entire game. It's been a frustrating performance, Jesse. Yeah, listen, you can't be hanging your head just yet. This game's not over. This coaching staff is still evaluating their players. So if you're on the field right now, you've got to finish this game. You've got to try to prove something to them. Well, the game is over, to be clear. They're not coming back. But I hear what you're saying. Keep fighting. Keep showing your coaches it matters. And maybe find something positive here late that you can build on for the weeks to come. Thomas back to pass. Gets it out quickly. And a good job of coverage by that defense. Just a short pickup. Clock is still running, and they have to get everybody lined up. On second down, wants to throw. Trying to make magic on the scramble. And he'll be brought down. NC State quick to the line. On third and long, trying to have a big completion here. And that's incomplete. A defender all over him. Knocked the ball to the ground. Fourth down coming up. On fourth down, they'll try to throw it. The completion well past the sticks. Finally run out of bounds, but he has this offense rolling with a first down. He's looking to throw it. Oh, he had him right down the middle, and it just squirted right through his fingers, and they miss an opportunity for a nice play on first down. He's looking for an open man on second down. Caught over the middle. It's Collins. Timeout called by the offense, and now they just have one remaining in the half. He'll come out throwing on first down. He makes a catch. Makes a grab. Defense right there, and they are set up at the 14. He spikes it. Clock stops as they try to rally late. Going to work in the red zone. They can't pick up the first down without getting it into the end zone. He's looking for a man on second down. Catch in the middle. It's Rodgers. They'll get it down to the eight-yard line on that throw and catch, and the defense is backed up against the wall. 
Quick timeout call by the offense after the play, trying to preserve every minute possible. It is incomplete, and he almost had himself an interception in the end zone. It'll be fourth down. He'll try to throw and pick up the first down. Floating away. He will not get it. A fourth down stop for this defense as they try to salt this one away. The receivers often will run their route based on a side adjustment. They make the stop, and this running game moves the chains as they get the first down. Looking back on it, this game probably falls precisely into the definition of a trap game. Trap was set, sprung, and the underdogs come up with the win. And that's why we go, you know what? I don't take your rankings. I'm not worried about your rankings. They don't matter to me. We're going to go out and beat this team. We're better than this team. A lot of times those rankings don't mean a lot to a lot of people. And you can tell it didn't mean a lot to this team. And that's why they came out and pulled the upset. Absolutely, David. I mean, that's why you play the games. This team knew they had to come out. They were going to have to put their best foot forward in order to get the W. They did just that. They're talented. They're obviously motivated. I can't wait to see how they follow this up in their next game. So that's going to do it for us. For Jesse Palmer, David Pollock, I'm Reese Davis saying so long. This has been another presentation of EA Sports College Football.